People have been asking me all day, Brian or Snoopy. So what do you think I am? Well, let me give us a look here. You know I your Family know. Guy characters pretty well from what I, I learned do. today. I do know my Family Guy characters very well. Brian, have you seen Rupert? Oh, oh God, Brian, look, I, I really need you to do... Are you wearing a wristwatch? Hey, Brian, you're never going to believe what I just did to Lois. Completely just smacked her right in the face, right on the ground. <laughs> Abuse. It's funny, right? I, I was just wondering, little dog, have you seen that uh, nice boy up the street? He delivers my newspaper on occasion. I would say that based on the eyes, I got to go with Snoopy. Snoopy's correct. Snoopy is correct. You should go I to this. knew it. There's a Family Guy panel coming to Toronto in September. Are you serious? Yeah, Seth and all of them. You know, I met Alex Borstein actually at the EW party in Comic Con. She's hilarious. Like, she's yeah. ridiculously hilarious. So dry, too. I was like, thank you. So I was like, you know, I watched you on Matt TV, blah, blah. I'm emotionally vomiting over this woman. And I was like, you know, you turned me on to acting. She's like, Oh, sorry. And I was like, you're so funny. And she's like, okay. She turned you on to acting. She did. Well, not, so? not her uh, solely, but I, I was a big but fan. But one of those people. Big fan of Matt TV. I love the sketch comedy. So I used to, that's how I sort of started doing voices. And, did you do and, a Miss Swan? I had I'm not gonna ask you. I'm not gonna put you in the spot, but, but everyone's been putting me on the yeah, spot. Yeah, today but you've I, been singing. You've been doing a whole. I am like, I just want to go and didn't drown in a bathtub or something because I'm so embarrassed. That's horrible. That you sound like horrible. Dallas Green, man. You can sing. I do. Oh, thanks. Well, I did. You notice that was a Dallas Green cover? No, but maybe that's why. It was, maybe it was the girl. Think. Yeah. Oh. No, but I, okay. I do actually sound a bit like Dallas Green. Um, so I've been told. I'm not, but not by my own admission. Well, I'll vouch for it. I heard it, and that's the first thing I thought. Thank you very much. That's a compliment, too. It's not like <laughs> Dallas sucks and you sound like him. No. Dallas, is a t he's, he's sold, what, how many records now? A lot. And he's a really cool guy. Anyway, Orphan Black. We talked about it a little bit on the red carpet at the Much Music Awards. Yeah, but I But I want to um, – just kind of it's interesting, the cloning thing. I've been thinking more and more about it now that they've cloned this beef patty the other week. Some guy wants to clone John Lennon because they found his tooth, and now they think well, there's DNA. healthy and realistic. But, okay, so you're, you're saying bad idea <laughs> and realistic. That's the best part of that. <laughs> so is it a good or bad idea? Uh, I think that for uh, the medical community, it could be like an incredible idea. I mean, even something as simple as like cloning your hair follicles if you want to get a hair transplant or uh, cloning your pancreas because mm. you have diabetes and you need another pancreas. Um, I don't know if that would work, but I think it would. I think it does. I think, I think they're doing that right I now. I think pancreatic issues begin in the pancreas. Yes, <laughs> they would. That would make sense. Let's go with that. that. Would. Anatomy 101. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think in terms of um, medical community or even potential military investments, if people lose their... I'm really sorry. That's not rude at all. Not in the slightest. So no, sorry. Not rude. That's like, I'm like in high school again and the teacher's just... I, I didn't have a high cell phone in high school, actually. I was kind of a loser. Um, no one had uh, cell phones when no. I was in high school, so it's fine. <laughs> and like all the cool kids would whip out their like giant flip phones that weren't evolved yet. <laughs> no, we like, have the Zach Morris ones, man. This is just so cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is my cell phone right here. Anyway, um, but human, cl like the way your show does it, good or bad? Uh, really good, I think, because we're not just showing the. We're, we're not just letting the public know that human cloning is a, a realistic possibility. It is, it's not science fiction. Uh, pff, it's, it, it's, it's, yeah, sorry. It's, well, not, it's, it's not anymore. It's I don't not think. science fiction. It's very much science reality. Um, it's just science. So, but what we're also kind of exploring is the implication of cloning on society, on, um, on the lives of the people that are affected by this. What the great thing about it is that we actually see firsthand the implication that this experiment has on its test subjects, which are, you know, Kach, uh, you know, Kasima, Katya, Beth, Allison, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I I just think that when you get into the territory of of l letting cloning become free science and not something because it's very low tech. I mean, you and I could do it in the basement. I don't think I could do it, but thank you. I appreciate your, your confidence. Well, in me. come with me, Snoopy. Uh, no, but really, I you know it's really easy to do, and I I think that um, when it's when it's made free science or public science, that's when you would begin to have an issue. I think if it's if it's strictly, I mean, even in the military, imagine somebody loses their arm in battle, and you know they come home and they get a new arm. It's pretty unbelievable when you think about it. It's got really deep. I feel weird trying to have a deep conversation. I'm sorry. I'm like, uh, this, I'm no, no, no. Really it's what I you. wanted. Is it? I it's felt what I, it though. Yeah. Like I knew you wanted it, and then I was like, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna yeah, and I appreciate it. it. I like it. But I want to get back to your characters for a second because I hear yeah. Tat stays in accent all the time. I do too. You do too. Is it be oh, yeah. for muscle muscle memory reasons? Yeah, How come? muscle memory uh, maintaining because there's a bunch of different things on top of the accent. There's a whole physicality that goes with him that's different than mine, and um, <laughs> finding that tension and finding those those muscles can sometimes be challenging, especially if you've 
gone over the weekend and you come back to work on Monday and it, it'll take a little while to get into it and then once you're into it the best thing to do it might seem a bit precious but really the most effective thing to do is just stay there because you make when the movement and the speech becomes unconscious you end up making discoveries in, in how they say things and how they move and the way that they move through the world and that's when the, the, the light bulb, those are when the light bulb moments happen, that's when the good stuff happens. So it's it's just better all around, I think, in my opinion. That's that's my process. No, Daniel Day-Lewis told me the same thing almost. Did he? So you're, I, I think him. you're in good Isn't he such a great guy? Well, he's the best, like we know him. Nice yeah. guy. Danny. Just Danny. You know, we haven't seen each other since never, but. we call I call him DDL. Do you? Yeah. yeah. No. I, well, I actually, uh, there are lots of people I have. I, I have a sort of pretend relationship, but not really with Sissy Spacek. Oh, there's one. Sissy and I met. Uh, That's a name, too. Ago. Oh, isn't she great? Yeah. Sissy, I love you. I, I just, I didn't get a chance. I was such an idiot when, when we met, and I just said a bunch of stuff that didn't even make sense. If you ever see this, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I had, like emotional I just vomited all over you emotionally but I thank you she'll see this she's my number one viewer is she really yeah, she tweets me every day I knew it yeah. she doesn't have Twitter any real sissy space know that I'm so sorry thanks man You're good welcome. talking to you really nice talking yeah. to you too I don't know what happened hold on Wait, how do, how do, do dogs do? shake paws how do they no well, I've been it. doing that all day when we like sniff each other's butts my dog does that to people we're not gonna do that here. <laughs> <laughs>